my dear friends as beekeepers we know that a queen a queen bee its primary job is to lay eggs and ensure the furtherance of the co the bee colony and bees are very intelligent and they will replace an old queen a failing queen an injured queen and um, they will raise another one um, there are a number of situations bees will replace the queen or will raise other queen cells when they want to swarm out or when they want to supersede the old queen with and replace her with a new queen um, we need to understand what is happening with a hive to be able to intervene and um, help our bees what do i mean by that last year i have um, found one of my hives on a checkup I saw no signs of any eggs in the hive and that was a sign that no queen no laying queen was present in the hive uh, that should be serious enough for us to check further in few days times if a virgin queen uh, emerged maybe the hive have swarmed the old queen is gone a new queen has taken its place and maybe has gone out to mate maybe it didn't come back yet uh, a, a, a new queen is harder to spot than the old queen because her abdomen is not enlarged like an old queen in a laying mode so we may not see her straight away or she may not have start laying eggs yet but nevertheless we need to pay attention to that situation and check again on my checkup I realize this particular hive do not have a queen a laying queen I need to check again because bad weather came it has um, given me difficulty to check the hive and most likely I was negligent in doing so well what happened was when I came back two weeks after that hive have developed what we call in beekeeping a laying worker bee now we know that a worker bee is not capable or let me change that a worker bee will collect nectar and have many other duties and she a worker bee doesn't have a duty to lay eggs like a queen does but a worker bee can become a laying bee um, in this particular situation what is happening bees will raise another queen if they have in the hive eggs available to the proper age and that will be the younger the egg we know the egg is an egg up to the third day and then the fourth day it becomes a larvae but if the larva is too old then the bees are not able to raise a queen from that larva and then they're hopelessly queenless and in this situation certain bees not only one certain bees are fed royal jelly by the rest of the nurse bees like they do with the queen and their ovaries develop and they're able to lay 
and start laying eggs just like the queen. Now there is a major difference and I'll, I'll talk to you about that. The difference is those bees have never mated with drones so all of the eggs they lay can never become a worker bee. All of the unfertilized eggs they will develop like drones and the worst about that is that those drones are not even viable to mate and they will be laid not in proper drone cells they will be laid in worker bee cells so you can imagine squeezing a very big drone in a very tiny worker bee cell they develop in some something else they just no not good and first sign when you open a hive and you see you have this problem is you spot capped brood scattered and very elongated upwards why because the drones, those eggs laid by the worker bees, which are not fertilized and they develop in drones, the drones are considerably larger and they have no other space to enlarge the cell, so they will build upwards. So they're like small towers and they're scattered, they're not a compact like a, a good laying queen will do. That is number one sign capped. When it's not capped, you may not be able to distinguish a larvae, a drone larvae, from a worker bee larvae. But as soon as it's capped, you see this, diff you know you have a problem. It's harder to spot before, but possible, because a worker bee, a laying worker bee, will lay even two, three eggs in a cell and not on the bottom of the cell like the queen does but on the walls of the cell and why it's easy to understand the abdomen of the queen is much longer and the abdomen reaches the bottom of the cell since the worker bee has a short abdomen and is not able to reach all the way to the bottom of the cell now it's extraordinarily important to intervene in this situation as soon as possible as soon as we know we have a hive which is queenless and help them give them a frame with young eggs from another hive and then they will have the genetic material to raise another queen if we neglect that and then we come in the stages that they have developed worker bees to lay and take the place of a queen, then it is a lot harder to bring that hive back because in their mind they have a queen. They have a laying queen and they will defend that. Whatever you give them, they will reject. They will think we don't need that. We have a queen. We don't need one. So we want to avoid allowing a beehive to come to that stages and intervene in the right time, giving them a chance to raise another queen. Either we give them a queen cell or give them a frame with young brood and then we can bring that hive back. In my situation was very difficult. I'm not going to talk about this because it's going to take it very long. But there are a number of situations which if your family, if your bee colony is big enough to be worth rescuing, because if you don't, then that colony will just diminish. What is happening, they will only be able to produce drones and those will not be viable so they're good for nothing and then 
the worker bees will be less and less because they're dying soon. They have young, short lives, and then no, no other worker bee will re replace them. So the colony will just go down and down and down from there to the point of there's nothing left of it but the, the box and the frames. So if it's worth the family, it's a big colony of bee then it's worth rescuing and that's why as beekeepers we need to understand the bee behavior and how can we do and the, the time we can do. For example, if the bees will swarm, we may not be home. We don't know which of the hives have swarmed. And then we open up the hives and we see queen cells. Well, maybe that's their only option to raise another queen. In that hive, the, the old queen is gone. And we just chop all the queen cells. And we take an, the only chance they have for replacement. And then everything they have there, it's way... Everything they have there, it's way too old. And then they, they don't have any other chance to replace their queen. Uh, I've already made this one long enough. Um, I took a risk staying here beside uh, the beehives middle of the winter here in South Australia but beautiful day bees very active uh, they're bringing in nectar that for sure because if you stand by the hive the smell which is produced by them dehydrating the honey the nectar uh, it, and the smell it just comes out through the entrance and you can smell that Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We'll be talking about, God bless you.